We are back. It's the start of a brand new series called Walk by Faith. And I'm so excited about this. We're going to be looking at some of the characters in the Bible and how they learn to walk, sometimes in hardship, sometimes when they thought they could never, ever do it. But they found out that God was going to be with them every step of the way. So I'm really excited about these next weeks as we learn this Walk by Faith but before we get on to our first one of these stories, it's time for our new memory verse. Hey kids, are you ready for our memory verse today? I want you to stand up with me. Here we go. I walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. I'm going to do it again. I want you to copy me. Ready? I walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. How did you go? Let's try it one more time all together. Here we go. I walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. So I wonder how you're going to do with our new memory verse. It's got actions in it, so that is going to be a disaster for me because it'll probably look something like this. Now, I'm in the archives. And in the archives here, we've got lots of things that are going to remind us of the stories we're going to be learning about. I've got some Egyptian clothes over here. I've got some old baskets and gold-plated leaf over here and some baskets here. And Oh, look at this beautiful gold pot, all from the times that we're going to be learning about. But the one thing I'm really excited about, there is this brilliant stick. Do you like picking up sticks? I love picking up sticks. So let's have a look. Whoa! Something's happening! Oh no, no, no and no. Seriously, God, what were you thinking? He certainly got my attention with a burning, talking bush. <laughs> I bet you've never ever seen anything like it. It really took me by surprise. It would have taken you massively by surprise. But seriously, how does God think I can go back to Egypt after everything that's happened? I know I'm an Israelite, but I grew up in the Pharaoh's palace as an Egyptian prince. But I've done something wrong. I don't want to tell everybody about it but they're after me. And the Israelites, my people, they're slaves. How does God think I can go back and speak to Pharaoh to change his mind and let the Israelite slaves go and let them be free? He'll never do that. That'll never happen. And yet, God is good. I know he is. He's been so, so good to me all of my life. I trust him, I really do. But he said for me to lead the Israelites I keep saying to him, I, I, I trust you, God, but, 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 but I'm not a, a leader. I don't know how, and, and I stutter. The Israelites will never listen to me. It's, it's, it's crazy. I need to talk to God about this more. God, are you sure this plan's going to work? I really don't know how it's all going to happen. But somehow I feel like I need to trust you and believe that you're gonna make it work. Just like when you saved me as a little baby. You kept me safe, you looked after me, and I know you've looked after me during all of this time that I've just spent in the desert. But God, I'm scared, and I sure I don't feel like I can make all of this happen without your help. But you are Lord and I know you're good. You are both to me and my people, the Israelites. You want to rescue them. I will do what you've asked. Do you know what? It's time to get going. What a story. I love that character. I know it was me, or I dressed up and I had a lot of fun doing it. And I'm thinking of changing my hair and growing a beard. What do you think? All right. But in our story, it was about Moses. And God asked him to lead the people that he was part of out of slavery. The Israelites had been slaves in Egypt for many, many, many years. 
It was all they had ever known, but God still loved those people and he wanted them to be free from slavery. He is a good God and he wants us to live a life where we can get to enjoy his love and his goodness and his promises for us. God allowed Moses to choose and Moses chose to follow him and do what was asked of him. He chose to walk by faith, not by what he could see around him. And God was faithful. God made a way where there didn't seem to be a way. 